All right, we've got this 2008 Caravan here that when you put it in gear, it stalls. Go ahead, Al. See, it just killed it out. So it is setting a torque converter code P2763 um, EMCC VFS control circuit. So we believe that the torque converter solenoid itself is the issue. We scope the um, uh, J or J J18 fuse 20 amp that feeds the ECU and there's no pinnel hump here when we command it with the Y-Tech. So we command it with the old Y-Tech scanner here at 50% and that's the reading we got. We don't believe that's correct. Okay, we replaced our cylinder in our Dodge Caravan. Go ahead, Al, see if she doesn't stall. Oh, look at that. All fixed. All right, you can go ahead and shut it off. Well, there's our replacement solenoid. You can see the pedal hop right there, right there, right there, right there. Now, this one draws a little bit less current than that uh, 2016 known good pattern we had. So, I mean, it does pay off to have known goods, but uh, who knows, they may have changed the strategy in eight years. But um, that's what you're looking for. Like I say, we tested it. And uh, so we know it's fixed, but the old... Uh, like I say, that draws about 678 milliamps. The old solenoid, where's that old solenoid at? Oh, right here. Actually, it was melted. We got it apart. This is the uh, EMCC solenoid here. And look at the burnt area right in there. So this is probably what happened. So customers driving down the road, of course, the converter was engaged. Well, you come up to a stop sign, game over. Well, that solenoid melted internally, and it's and it's not venting. It's it's uh, tied up in there. We know it wasn't moving because we used the scope to verify. So if we go back to our old uh, pattern here, you can see that it draws a lot more current. See right there. There's no there's no pedal hump there, and the sing draws. 1.5 amps, which it ohmed about 1.5 ohms. So if you use Ohm's law, 14 volts, divide it out, that's probably pretty close. But when you see that, that is short circuit. So this diagnosis was before, performed without taking anything apart. We went right to the fuse box, use our current clamp, went right on fuse 18 in the tip of which is the transmission relay output, which runs the solenoids in the transmission. So we found out that the solenoid itself was short, not a a hydraulic leak in the transmission. You know, if there was a torque converter problem itself or a hydraulic leak or fluid leaking past or being or not leaking past in this case, uh, our waveform here would be perfect. Yes, we did have a trouble code for the circuit, but it is always nice to know uh, with the scope and it takes 10 minutes to do this. So we can accurately diagnose it and we can fix the transmission. Like I say, we sourced a OE part, we fixed the transmission and she'll be running down a road soon.